Hey guys, welcome back to our channel where I inspire your desire to be great, to be great, to be great. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, watching another video. Today is August 25th. 12:57 p.m. and y'all already know by the title of this video your girl is about to chef it up i'm about to cook again and i wanted to share this video with y'all so yeah today um we are going to be making beef burritos i wanted to do lamb burritos but we're going to do that in another video y'all so um i'm gonna show y'all my ingredients real quick and then we're gonna get straight into the video so for today i'm using um ground beef grass fed it doesn't have to be grass fed but ground beef y'all get it we're gonna be doing black beans today something different onions of course you're gonna need tomatoes for seasoning of the ground beef this is what i'm using let me turn it around I'm using royco y'all can use sazon y'all can use whatever it is that y'all want but this is what i have so this is what i'm using course you gotta have some salsa to put on the burrito lettuce I gotta cut that up we're gonna do some Mexican style rice cilantro and for the wrap this is what we're do we're using sun-dried tomato basil wrap which is really really good if y'all haven't tried it and we are going to use some cheese so I'm gonna get right into it I'm gonna start off because I feel like this takes the longest and by the time this is done cooking everything else will um be everything else will be done cooking so i'm gonna start off with the rice the instructions are on the back so i'm just gonna go just follow the instructions only difference is i don't use two and a half cups of rice i only use two um cups of rice because i feel like two and a half is gonna make it too soggy too mushy and i do not like that so i'm gonna show y'all how i do the rice <laughs> As y'all can see for the rice, I got my two cups of water. I measured it out and just poured it in there. Turn the fire on high. I'm also gonna slip some butter in the pot. You can use butter or oil, but I prefer to use butter in my rice. Once it heats up, you turn the rice over in there, cover it, put it to steam. So I'm gonna show y'all um, for the butter. And for this amount of rice, I like my rice buttery. So honestly, usually you could do like anywhere from one to two tablespoons, but this is like three, four. So I'ma just put this full amount in there and wait for it to boil. While it's doing that, you're gonna come over here. Um, I am going to cut up the While it's doing that, I'm gonna turn this fire on on high and I'm going to cut up the onions and put them, <coughs> I'm gonna cut up the onion, put it in the pot to fry until it's brown. All right, y'all, so while that, while the rice water is boiling, I cut up the onions to put in the frying pan. I turned on the frying pan to heat up the oven, I mean, I turned on the stove to heat up the um, frying pan just so that while the rice is cooking, I could get started on um, I could get started on making this. So next, we're gonna be on to the beans. If y'all have watched my previous cooking videos, y'all already know. As y'all can see, I have the pan ready for the beans. I got my spoon in there so that it doesn't spill over. So while this frying pan is heating up, I'm going to just pour the beans over to get that cooking as well. This is really easy, really quick meal. So yeah, you could pretty much multitask and cook multiple, I mean, all three things at the same time. Same thing, I get some water, swish it out, pour it over in there. It's still stuck in the bottom, so I gotta get some more. If it doesn't come out after that, I just, I honestly just use a knife or something and scrape it out until it comes out. Turn that fire on on high as well. 
Then we gotta test the frying pan to see if it's hot. All right, it's hot. Put the onions in there to fry. While that's frying, we're gonna come over here, open this up. While I do that, I kind of mush this out. I don't know if y'all can see that. I kind of mush this out. Because I feel like when it's broken up, it's easier to cook faster in the pot. So, yeah. And for this, I'm also going to use two Roycos to get it nicely flavored. So, so we're going to jump back over her. As y'all can see, the water is boiling. Gonna need a fork, stir it. Once it boils, you cover it, you turn the fire on low. So we're gonna wait for it to boil again, which usually doesn't take long to start boiling again. So it's pretty much boiling now. Take it, cover it, turn the fire on low. It gotta simmer for like a good 20 minutes. So while that's happening, um, these still aren't brown enough yet. We're going to go over to our beans. Let me zoom in for y'all. So y'all know the drill, adobo. Again, I eyeball it. I don't have a specific amount. This, you just use one cap. This, you only need one tablespoon. Stir it. And you can leave it on high. Once it starts kind of like boiling, then you could turn it down. But for now, it's not boiling. So, so as y'all can see, the onions are starting to brown a bit. So once they start doing that, then you can take your ground beef, start sprinkling it in there. So just start mixing it in. Take another one. The beans are starting to boil. I suggest turn it down. I suggest turning it down and then now we're gonna come over here so while that all that stuff is cooking because y'all know with um y'all know how it is with this so we're gonna cut up the lettuce so then I'm gonna wash the lettuce and drain it turn it over in my bowl add in some garlic I'm gonna add a little bit of this to it for health purposes. Just to try something different. So next you're gonna do tomato and then some on. So kinda going back and forth in between. So this looks pretty done to me. 
Next, I'm going to add in, I'm going to turn off the fire, but I'm going to add in, um, mmm. Add in salsa. And this is pineapple salsa, by the way. So I pretty much use three fourths jar of salsa, but feel free to put however much you want. You just don't want the burrito to be dry. I almost forgot the sour cream, but this is pretty much done. Y'all saw how fast that cooked. The beans, they're on their way to being done, but I'm pretty sure by the time, I'm pretty sure by the time the rice is done, the beans will be done. But while we're waiting for everything else to be done, I'm gonna just finish cutting up everything that needs to be cut up. So, now we're gonna move on to our cilantro. After that, we're gonna cut our avocado. And then I sprinkle lime, lemon juice on there because it helps preserve the avocado a little bit and it adds extra flavor. So, and then I mix this together. Then I add a tiny bit of adobo. Just a tiny bit, y'all. Gonna just try it. Ten out of ten. So this, I take my cheese usually, add some cheese in there, so it can melt a little bit, get a little sticky. So the beans are almost done as well. Thankfully I caught it. You could just put it on low, or honestly you could just turn it off. All right guys, so I am back. I cleaned my frying pan. And it's been about like 10, 15 minutes. The rice is pretty much done. Um, that takes the longest to cook, but if y'all want, y'all could choose a rice that's easier to cook. So I'm gonna turn that off and then I'm about to just get into how I make my burrito now, how I put it together. It's gonna be a big burrito, y'all. A giant burrito. The world's biggest burrito. <laughs> As I told y'all, I got my wrap. So I say put this fire on high or like medium, but I want it to hurry up and heat up. So I'm gonna just put it on high. So take your butter. Put it down in there a little bit. Or you could use oil. Oil works too, but most of the time I just prefer to use butter. Take this, put it in there. And basically, um, once you feel it warming up, eventually you'll turn it over, but that's what I do for now. Turn it over. So I start by um, putting this in there first at the bottom. You really don't need a lot. Um, I think I put too much actually, because you're putting a lot of stuff in there. And if the wrap ain't, um, you can't overstuff the wrap, unless you want to, then you're gonna have a sloppy burrito, but put some rice. Put some beans and I'm gonna add extra cheese so that it can melt. Can't forget the sour cream. 
So now that the, the frying pan is also heating up, I just turn it off. Put some sour cream on there. I forgot that sometimes I spread it on there too, but you could put it on there however you feel is fit. Then I go in and add my lettuce. Then after my lettuce, I add this, um, the other veggie mixtures. Kind of stir it up, just stick it on there. Right, this is a giant burrito, y'all. Hopefully I'll be able to close it, because sometimes I'm not, and then I'll be mad. So you're gonna need this, something big to help take it out. And then, I hope I didn't overstuff it. <laughs> nope, it's fine. Hold on, turn it this it's just a little bit hot get you a spoon to kind of push everything and hold it right that way it doesn't like fall apart i overstuffed this one a little bit but it's fine oops and there y'all have it, a giant burrito. So while that's doing that, put that one in there to heat up. Again, you could put butter on it, you don't have to. And that pretty much sums it up. So I already took a bite of mine, y'all. It was so, 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 so tasty. I'm gonna take another video bite in it. Mmm. I'm falling apart a little bit, but I'm super hungry. I'm happy that I finally finished. And I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. This is so good. I can literally taste everything. Literally. Taste everything. But I'm gonna see y'all in the next part of the, I mean, not the next part of the video. I'll see y'all in the next video where I inspire your desire to be Great to be great to be great. Bye.